Do you guys have a self-propelled lawnmower that used to drive itself up a hill when you pulled those levers and now it doesn't quite go up that hill anymore? Or even if it's on a flat surface, you pull those levers to drive and it just kind of tugs a little bit where you still have to push it. The whole point of a self-propelled lawnmower is so you don't have to push it. I worked with a small engine mechanic once who I saw had uh, one of these on his bench and he was replacing the belt. And I said, why are you replacing the belt? And he said, well, I got it on the ground and I pull those levers and it doesn't even spin the tires anymore. So the uh, belt must be worn out. I said, well, did you try adjusting the cable? He said, well, there's no, there's no adjustment on the cable. I showed him where the adjustment was on this and he looked at me and he said, huh, I fixed hundreds of lawnmowers in my life and I never knew that. I'm going to show you what I showed him. Don't take it into a small engine shop just yet, guys. I might save you some money here. This is so ridiculously easy to do. This is literally, I'm going to say, a two-sip job. <clears throat> Let's do this. Thanks for tuning in to Steve Small Engine Saloon again, people. SteveSmallEngineSaloon.com right here. I got to do it. That's my website. I got that up here in the information button for you too. I got some links in the information button as well as at the end of this video. I got some clickable links there for you too that you uh, get back to some of my other videos that might be relevant for what we're talking about today. So stay tuned for all of that. Check it out when you get a chance. Here we go. You got a lawnmower that's got these levers on it right here. That's how you make yourself propel. That's how you make your, your wheels drive. You pull those levers down like that. Some of these have two levers on them. Some have one lever on them. Don't worry about that. The concept is exactly the same. After time, uh, your cable that, that uh, makes yourself propel work is going to stretch a little bit as well as the belt under there is going to seat further in and wear out a little bit uh, into the pulleys and it's going to start getting slacker and slacker where your self propel is not working anymore. It's not engaging tight enough. The adjustment for this thing is right up at the top of your handle where you pull those levers. It's this right here. The further you unscrew this right here, the tighter your cable gets pulling on that belt down there and the belt's gonna be tighter too. That's how you adjust that. If you've never done this before, you may possibly need to use a 3 8 wrench or a 10 millimeter wrench. It fits right on there like that. But most of these things that uh, I've ran into, you can do it with your fingers. Really easy once you get that going. I'm gonna show you right now. It's a beautiful day outside right now. We're gonna take this outside and I'm gonna show you uh, the difference as I adjust this from, from right down to no adjustment, and I'm going to gradually unscrew that thing so you can see the difference until those wheels are actually spinning. It's as easy as that. Adjust your cable. If you actually have that cable all the way out, unscrewed as far as it can go, and you're still having that problem, then maybe we need to start talking about uh, maybe your belt does need replaced, maybe there's something wrong with your transmission, something like that. But try that first. Guys, I think I really saved some of you guys some money out there. I certainly hope I did. And so give me that thumbs up button, guys, that like button right there. Put some comments right down here underneath this video. Share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, what did I tell you? That's, that was a one-sip job there for me. Steve out.